And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. All right, we've become cloudy in the morning, and then we've got this wave of some rainfall and a couple thunderstorms that come through, uh, mainly in the afternoon, but then it zips out of here uh, during the evening on what's going to be a windy day, cool in the morning, but then not so bad towards noon at 63, cools off a little bit during the rain, but then once the rain moves north, and the warm front moves north, we warm up in the evening. In fact, the warmest it's going to be all day tomorrow, which, you know, we'll take 64 at 5 and 63 at noon, but the 67 will likely occur like 9 o'clock at night with that strong, at that point, due south wind kicking in. So these numbers of 64 to 69, closer to 9 tomorrow night, and the numbers don't change very much overnight. It's 65 on Saturday morning, and we got ourselves an 81 on Saturday afternoon. It will be a windy, humid day with some uh, kind of a second round of some scattered showers and storms coming in during the morning. Those end and then a couple storms may fire late afternoon and into the evening. But there are the highs, upper 70s to low 80s. And when you combine that with dew points, you know, as high as like 66 degrees, uh, there will be a little mugginess in the air come Saturday afternoon. So we hear the high clouds thickening up tomorrow morning. That sun will be a, a kind of a faint glowing ball in the sky and gradually it will fade away during the midday hours. And by one, you can see the rain coming up from the southwest here. Here we get into 2 3 o'clock, 3 30 tomorrow afternoon. There's that area of some rain, couple of embedded bouts of thunderstorms, and then by five, the heaviest is already up here in our northeast, and by seven, that, that thing's completely out of here, and we are drying out. The clouds are actually breaking up a little bit, but some more rainfall comes in uh, during late Friday night, Saturday morning. Rainfall, even a couple or a few more thunderstorms embedded. That's 630 in the morning on Saturday. Then that moves out, and then we get that sun out, it's warm, it's humid, it's windy, and then we watch for a few storms to fire Saturday late, late afternoon, but mainly in the evening. You'll see a few storms here and there, and even in a part of Saturday night. Now, there won't be very many storms, but given the parameters in place, it's not out of the question. A random isolated severe storm could occur with those. But you notice by Sunday morning, Everything's moving north again and look at Sunday afternoon. There's just not much happening. It's just a very warm, humid and muggy 80s day with strong winds from the south. But if we take the rain we're going to get tomorrow, whatever we get Saturday and go right up to Sunday morning, not Sunday night or Monday, but Sunday morning. It's anywhere from more than a half an inch to more than an inch and a half of rain with the, uh, with the, uh, the highest amounts in our northern counties. Then we watch this. The leftovers of all this severe weather come in late Sunday night, Monday morning, and this could bring a couple severe storms before it pulls out of here uh, again on Monday morning. So that said, look at that 84 high on Sunday, 75 Monday, but then we're back into the 80s Wednesday and Thursday. 80s Friday, more storms. Wouldn't surprise me if there's a little more severe weather risk on Friday. And then it's a little cooler next week and highs around 60 to the mid 60s.